Hey everybody, Lisa here. How you doing? Have you been watching the Australian Open? It has been an exciting week this week for Rafa and his fans at the 2011 Australian Open. And as I talked to you about this before, it's Rafa's quest for the Rafa Slam. And that means that if he wins this tournament, it'll be four in a row for Rafa and they are calling that the Rafa Slam. And I even made a t-shirt. Yes, I picked a dragon because to me, Rafa is like a fire breathing dragon when he gets on the court and just destroys his opponent. <laughs> but anyway, um, let's see what happened this week. Well, there was a charity event with all the top players that raised money for the flood victims in Australia. And that was um, really nice to watch all the players to get together. They're a nice, big, happy family. On the court, they may be opponents and want to battle to the end. But off the court, they are all friends and... They just come together for great causes, and it's really nice what they've done. Uh, they raised over a million dollars for the flood victims in Australia. Let's see, what goes on with Rafa then? Well, his first three matches, he won every match in straight sets. His third match was against Australian uprising star, what's his name? <laughs> Bernard Tomic. Um, this kid's 18 years old. And this little this guy came out with his gloves on, and he really tested Rafa. And it was the first um, nail biter during the whole week. There was at one point he was up for love in the second set. Not Rafa, this Bernard kid. And then Rafa came back and he dug himself out of that hole and ended up winning that second set seven five. And then he won the entire match in straight sets and. Um, it was just like, really, an 18-year-old? But um, thank God Rafa won. And he said at the end of the match that this kid's going to go really far. And he congratulated him. You know, Rafa's so sweet when it comes to those things. He um, always has nice things to say about his, his, uh, his opponents, even if they beat him or if they, he beats them. It's really nice. Um, let's see, tonight, well, it's like 5 o'clock in the morning here. And it's sometime after 7 in Australia, so that's tomorrow. He'll be playing Marin Schiller. Now, Marin actually beat him the last time I think they played together. But Rafa was having knee problems back then, and this time he's healthy. He might have a little bit of this flu. We're not sure. He's sweating more than usual on the court, and he has admitted to being tired. But hopefully... Um, that won't affect him in this match, and he will beat Marin Chillett in straight sets. Cross your fingers. I hope so. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, there's been a lot of things happening off the court with Nike. They actually made a traveling polo sportswear van, and Rafa visited it, and he made his own customized polo shirt, and... He wanted the number nine because that's his favorite number. So they put the number nine on it. And let's see. Oh, Nike made a tennis bag with all of his fans' names. Um, my name got on it. Nike had a couple contests in December, and I entered one, and I got my name on it. So that was really exciting. Um, oh, I know. The big news for us girls is that Rafa is the Armani model. And the campaign starts officially in February, but a couple of photos leaked out in Rafa in his Armani underwear and Armani jeans, and they are really, really hot, and I can't wait to see the rest of the pictures because they are smoking, if you know what I mean. I'm even thinking about taking a pair of underwear down in Miami with me when I see him in March and having them sign them if I get lucky enough. Wouldn't that be exciting? Mm -hmm. um, oh, I get all excited just thinking about Rafa in his underwear. Um, well, so far, that's it. And I hope he wins tonight, tomorrow. <laughs> um, they're 16 hours ahead of me in Australia. So that's why I get really confused about the time. But hopefully he'll win. And um, my next vlog, video vlog, will be about Rafa winning the Rafa Slam. Rafa, I can't even talk. There's Armani underwears. Ah, 
Okay, vamos, Rafa.